In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can set up a Spotify now playing overlay for your stream that works directly inside of OBS Studios. Now, before we do get started, I do want to go ahead and mention that all the links that I will be using will be in the description below of today's video. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off the video by heading over to this website, 6klabs.com. Now this website essentially has the widget that we're going to be using that gives you the option to connect to your Spotify, Discord, and even YouTube music. So come to the top right hand corner and click on the login and either sign in with your Twitch account or your Google email. Now once you have finished your authentication, you will be met with this screen right here. So from here you want to click on the tab widgets and then click on amuse. Now this is where you'll get the option to select if you want to use either Spotify or YouTube music. But since we're going to be using Spotify for this video, I'm going to make sure that I have a link directly in the description below that's going to take you to an article to show you how you can set up YouTube music. So from here, we're going to go down to profiles and this is really cool because you can use multiple profiles in case you wanted to switch up how this overlay looks for different scenes inside of OBS. So you can have the widget up here one way, let's say for example, in a gameplay scene, but if you decided that you wanna to go to another scene, for example, just chatting, then you can use a different profile to change the way how the widget appears just for just chatting. But for the sake of this video, I am going to leave it as is, and we're going to go down to OBS setup. Now, the first section here is going to look different from mine. It's going to ask you to please connect your Spotify account. So click that and you will then be brought to this page right here. Now, of course, nothing will be linked just yet, but you will be able to connect either the free version or paid version of your Spotify account. So to connect your account, we're going to click on this blue button that says, learn how to create your app. And once you click on it, you'll be brought straight to a step-by-step -step article that will show you how to create your Spotify app and link it to 6K Labs. So follow step one and click on this link that is going to bring you directly to Spotify for developers and then create an app. Now under the app name, you want to type in Amuse Widget. Then for the app description, you want to put, this is an app for 6K Amuse Widget. And for your redirect URL, we are actually gonna go back to 6K Labs website. We're gonna scroll down to step five and copy the URL link and paste it on Spotify for developers website. Now you can ignore the next section, then check this box and click save. Once that is done, you would have successfully created the app. You just need to now click on it and then go over to settings on the top right hand corner and copy both your client ID and your client secret. Just make sure that you click on this link as your client secret is hidden. So once you copy your client ID, just make sure you head on back over to 6K Labs website and then paste your client ID right here and then come do the same for your client secret. You wanna then go ahead and connect your account and you will see that it's now connected. So you are now able to go to widgets, click on amuse and your page should now look exactly like mine where it says click here to copy your URL. So you're gonna to wanna to click this, you wanna copy it and then you're gonna to wanna to open up OBS Studios. So once you're inside of OBS Studios, you're gonna to wanna to head on over to the scene section where you want your overlay to display on. So for me, it's gonna be scene two, and then you're gonna to wanna to come over to your sources tab, click on the plus icon and look for your browser source. You're then going to name your browser source. It can either be a Muse or it can be Spotify overlay, whichever you decide to choose. And then you're gonna to come to the URL tab and you're going to paste the URL that you got from 6K Labs. And then you're gonna come down, you're gonna click on okay, and then just give it a few seconds and it should automatically pop up right here. Now, if you have any issues where it doesn't pop up, you can come back to this. You can just double click it. This is gonna pop up for you. 
and you can come down to page permissions and you can change this if you have it set to no access to obs you can change this to either read access to obs status information or read access to user information right here either of these will be just fine and then you can go ahead and click on OK and it should automatically pop up for you. Now you will know if this works if you decide to open up your OBS and let's say for example, we decided to change a song to this right here, it automatically updates. Now lastly, if you wanna change the way on how the widget looks inside of OBS, you do have the ability to do so. The only thing you have to do is just come back to 6K Labs and inside of the widget section, you can come over to widget settings. Now you will see that you have several options. You will have compact, you will have boxy, you will have gallery, you will have Mac OS as well as shell. Now there is another section here for discord, but the only way that you can get this theme is if you join their server as well as connect your discord account. Now you'll be able to connect your discord account right here under accounts and apps and you will see where it says discord the only thing you have to do like i said before is join the discord and then connect your account once that's done you will come back to widgets come back to amuse and then you will see that the discord option does pop up for you now under the cover appearance you will have the option to change this as well so basically you can get square you got canvas in case like let's say there is a video that plays along with it you have vinyl and then you will have none so you have the option to choose whichever one that you like based on your preference and if you want let's say a glow around your widget you do have the ability to do that just by checking this and if you want your colors to change like if you want your widget to change colors for every song that you choose for example like if i just do it like this you see how the widget is just changing colors you do have the ability to do that by checking this box but if you want it to be at a standstill you can just choose any of these colors you will see that the bars are changing right down here so you can just choose any of these and then you have light mode and dark mode now you can come down here as well and you can also choose if you want a cover blur so you have a lot of options that you can choose for this widget now with that being said that's gonna be all for today's video so if you made it to the end make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as turning on post notifications so that you do not miss a single video that gets posted up onto this channel and if you want to know how you can actually split your audio so that way your community can hear the music that you're playing then make sure you guys go ahead and click on this video right here as i walk you through step by step on how you're able to split all of your audio sources inside of OBS. Take care, guys.